we're just getting the stream started. And um, Jackie should be able to read your comments tonight. Yep. You can um, do it right now. Oh, nice. So we had some trouble with that in the past, but so far it's, it seems like it's been working. If um, I was going to say if it's not working, let us know. But um, you'd have to go over to Facebook to let us know. We also stream on Facebook on my personal page and my art page. It goes to the art page, and then we um, put it over to the personal page. But it'd be a little hard, hard for you to let us know, I guess, on YouTube if the chat's not working. But it's all right, guys. Let's see. Um, let me check this real quick. Okay, I got it in my ear. I think we're good. I think we're going to start this. Here we go. Well, welcome everybody, and here we are. Hey. <laughs> I was going to say welcome everybody, and welcome. <laughs> but I thought I just said welcome. You should say so, may the fourth be with you. May the fourth be with you. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And um, and thank you so much for being here tonight. We have so much to talk about. But the first thing is, where in the heck were you guys last week? When yeah. We go to all the trouble to put this together. But it was you and I that went here, right? Wait, what? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so I guess uh, never mind. No, sorry. Last last week, you. What happened? Um, you had to go to a, a meeting about. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. Thank you. I knew it was something. It was. It was. It was really important. Um, it was for a mural, that's going to be at a, a LSA. So we're going to be. Um, Psh, you're not supposed to talk about. It. Psh. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, maybe. <laughs> and um, so um um. I'm not supposed to talk about it. I don't. I think I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, um, but it, it it was right during the time that we live stream, and it, you know, so it was a bunch of people getting together and just couldn't move it. If we, you know, we we try to keep this time sacrosanct as much as we can, but unfortunately, we couldn't. End. But a cool thing though, um, I think we're we're going to be filming in front of that the mural that's going to be coming down. I think I can say that that the the mural. That I've had it there for two years. Usually they're there for a year at the LSA location, and every year it's kind of cool. They have six different artists come in and they paint new murals. Um, but but they're having me back to paint another mural, and I'm going to do it right on that same spot. So I'll be covering up my little dog that's so excited about a hamburger. And what am I going to put next? I don't know. What I'm not are, sure. Okay, have you thought about it? I thought about it, but I don't know because um, until Narcy, who's this great giving wonderful individual this amazing human being um, makes me decide I'll, I'll probably keep going over different ideas because I'm not sure but no because there's so many good things to do so I'm not sure um, it's going to be up for a year or two and so you know I want to make sure I get something good so I don't know I don't rush it but guys we're going to Tulsa <coughs> Mayfest um, actually we're leaving Thursday morning yep. we'll be setting up um, I'll be on morning show or morning TV on Friday morning so early. So early. Yeah, yeah, I'll be up. Oh, gosh. It'll, it'll be like 5.30 in the morning. Um, so 5.30 in the morning, I'll be taping. I don't know if it's live then or... or it, oh, it's I, live. I mean, is it? Probably. Gosh. I mean, it's morning TV. Well... I'm sure it's live. Yeah, I think, you know, I've done it. I've done it before for the Tulsa morning stuff. And I think what they do is they, they broadcast it live then. And then as the morning goes on, they, they replay it. Ah, You know, yes. so... Um, so, so we'll be driving to Tulsa on Thursday. We'll be setting up our show and then, um, um, late and then early Friday morning, I'll be bleary eyed <laughs> or good or good. <laughs> Get ready, come out and watch the art, but I'm looking so forward to it though. The people at Tulsa are so nice and Mayfest, like Debbie and everybody that puts together the Mayfest festival, they're and brilliant. They're so cool. They're so great. And, um, and you know, and, they're, and they've figured out a way to do it, you know, with COVID and everything, and you know, to keep everybody safe. And um, I think it's going to be a blast. So looking forward to that. Um, I have a naming contest, but I'll get to that in a minute. And I'm not sure what we should give the winner, but if you can help name this painting that's right here, mm. I'll show it to you in a moment, because um, it is a pickle. I mean, we can definitely come up with a name, but I thought you guys, oh my gosh, you guys might come up with a really great name. Um, well, Ron Captain, have in the past. Ron Captain joins us says, hey, guys. And Fred joins us and says, howdy, howdy, guys. Hey, Ron. Hey, Fred. So hey. thanks for tuning in. Hey, Ron, that reminds me. 
thank you all the our, our patreon supporters so much it's just i don't know it's um we we really appreciate that you know it's just having i don't know i the support is awesome yeah yeah for sure for sure and um oh oh i should say tomorrow um actually we're um and, and i can't say who's doing this but there 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 is a, a major corporation that is donating computers for computers for the blind it's an organization that actually provides computers for the blind <laughs> which so they're aptly named <laughs> it's really nice but they're they're doing that and they're filming a um a commercial and um and i'm going to be filming with them tomorrow and i think that's really really cool you know it spotlights a really great idea and a great ch charity because one of the things like one of the reasons that i can paint and one of the, the reasons i do what i do is because of technology and um and not only like the electronic technology and all that but also other types of technology where like like training techniques and stuff which you might not think of that as being technology but um like the way that guide dogs are trained now and the way that orientation and mobility white cane training is completely changed there's people that will go to school and they'll get it they'll get their masters in being able to come up with this sort of stuff but also electronic technology so um being able to access information and stuff and i know that kind of sounds boring but oh my goodness it is life-changing so um, so we're going to be filming a commercial tomorrow in one of the spots. We're, we're going to do it here in the studio, and we're going to do it. That painting behind me, um, um, Vincent was so nice to, to, he, um, to let us have it for the commercial, and then it's going to be going off to him. And I have another painting actually right here that I'm going to be working on um, during the commercial. So um, so if you ever see these in a commercial, you know, like, hey. <laughs> I was what are you talking about? I know, I know that painting. <clears throat> on it. So, um, well, Barbara Brands joins us and says, Hi guys, it was so good to see you um, at the festival in person. You looked so delighted. I was sorry I couldn't make it over. I wanted to. So. Oh well, thank thanks you. Thanks for wanting to, and it would it it was a it was good. It was the weather was a little dicey. Yeah. So it, that was weird. Yeah, it was a <laughs> yeah. So yeah, exactly. So we did the the the, the Vandergrift Fe Festival, and if anybody like you know, I know I know anybody who tunes in here loves art, and and a lot of you guys make art. Whether it's a hobby or whether it's a career, but um, one of the things about our festivals that's so great is that it well it depends on the festival. But if it's a juried festival um, where artists submit, and then you know you may have thousands of artists or a thousand artists or more, you know, one at one in, and they only only say like eighty or something. So it's the cream of the crop, which sounds like we're tooting our own horn, but you know we don't get into all. Of them. <laughs> but the ones they let us in, that's nice. And but the cool thing about it is that you have all this really interesting art. And you get to be there with the artist. Where in a gallery show, very often that's not the case. You go in the gallery and you're, the paintings are there, but the artist isn't there. But in this, you get this really nice, intimate sort of interaction, and it's really cool. And that's that's why we like to do them. We don't do that many, but that's why we we keep doing them though, because it's just different. But um, but the bad thing about a festival is that you know, if they're outdoors, you never know about the weather, and it could just be nasty. And the Vandergriff Festival was really nice. The people that ran it did such a great job. They're so professional. They laid everything out so well and all that. The weather didn't really participate. We had a lot of people out. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't not a successful show or anything like that. But but if the weather had been better, it would have been like um, just amazing because it was it was laid out so well. But it, they had it was really so wet, good... they had to kind of move it and they had to yeah. move it in and then they had really good bands. Yeah, the bands were great. They had live music going. They, um, yeah, and, and it was real cool. Load in, load out was easy. Yeah, it was just that's soggy and stuff. So like a lot of people just said, oh, it's wet. Let's not go." And um, so that's a shame. But it's just one of those things. But we we had a good festival. It was fun. And well, but, Terry Acker joins us. Says evening cousin. Love your work. Hey man, how are you doing? Thanks, thanks for, for joining. tuning in. Well, thanks so much. And um. So why don't you show the crowd what you worked on while at the festival? Well, I will, and I'll say, Terry, um, next weekend I'm heading towards um, the state that I know. Will you, does, does, does Sherry still have a place up in Oklahoma? Yeah, I believe so. I thought so. I think so. Well, if so, we're don't heading they, towards they, Oklahoma they, next week. But I think they, don't they, well, I mean, he'll correct us if we It won't on. be anywhere near um, Sherry, but, you know, but hey, we'll probably be passing somewhere by, so we'll wave. <laughs> they have, like, fancy cabins or something they built. Yeah, up. yeah, 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 the real, yeah. Fancy. Dream cabins. Okay, well, here's the naming contest thing. Okay. okay. If you guys are ready, I've been working on a painting. 
And I have another painting to show you too. Cause I, can we have the naming contest thing? But also, I, I just want to pick pick your brain, and we'll figure out a prize for. Um, and this prize thing, it's not like the normal kind of contests and stuff that we do, where um, um, where like it's going to be awarded tonight or anything. I was just thinking if, if somebody came up with a really great name, then we'd be like yes. But if nobody does, that's okay too. Or if you come up with it, because uh, I'm gonna. Do, oh, sorry, I just hit the microphone. Um, or if you come up with it tomorrow, the next day, or whatever, before we come up with a name, then somebody's going to win a prize. It's probably going to be art. Ooh, that, you know, so, prizes. So it's not necessarily tonight. It's just out there. You know, if you have, if the inspiration strikes you. So anyway. Well, Terry says, let me say it really fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, doing great. Yeah, mom is in Oklahoma, and then but he still lives in, in Texas. And then Shane joined us and said, excited to see you guys. We'll be there on Sunday. Hey man, oh so, that's so great. That's, I, yeah, I'm. I was wondering if you guys were gonna come out, so I'm glad that you are. That's gonna be awesome. Well, please do, man. I I I, I was, Shane Shane and his family are so great, and and yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't be a trip to to Mayfest, man, if we didn't see you. So, that that would be brilliant, and catch up. It's been at least two years. <laughs> yes. Last time we were in Mayfest, I guess. Good grief. Yeah. Well, without further ado. Yes, show us the, the painting. Dun, dun, dun. Get ready to whet your appetite. <laughs> Wait no longer. <laughs> Here's the unveiling. <laughs> so what was I thinking? <laughs> what were you thinking? Well, I'll tell you what I was thinking. Um, I, I, I like this. I think it's funny because this is how I would feel. If somebody shot an apple off my head, I'd be like, I know you said you were going to do it. <laughs> but I, I didn't think you were going to do it. <laughs> So, um, so anyway, here the, the idea though, um, I was thinking about your brother's fav- favorite painting painter the other day, Magritte. Yes. And how he would have like a top hat and stuff, and he would have it where, um, like like a hole kind of with a, uh, with an apple shape. I thought, oh, that's kind of interesting. That's kind of cool. An apple in the head, and blah blah blah. And I thought, well, Magritte did it, and um, so um, and this painting isn't done, guys. By the way, this is something I'm working on. And I thought, well, apple on the head, apple on the head. And I was thinking, you know, science and gravity and all that. And then I thought, oh, William Tell and shooting an apple off the off of someone's head. So, and then I thought, well, how would I feel? And then I'm wanting to work on this um, sunglass series, which behind us. So you can see one of that. So inspired by that, thinking like, oh, glasses, um, I thought this. So this is where I am on this. Um, I'm not sure about the background. I don't know. It's going to either be like thick white paint, a little bit of color, or maybe it could be a lot of color. I don't really think a lot of color. I, I don't know. I kind of like the the just complete white background. Well, I do too. And I wonder about like a little pastel or making it thick, you know, using a palette knife. and. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe thinner, mm. rounder, and then thicker. Almost like, you know, like a cartoon. It's like, wah, 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 wah. I don't but, know. I mean, so, I, I don't know. Hmm. But look at this arrowhead, guys. Gosh, that this arrowhead means business. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's like... I thought, I, you're about, I thought you were about to boast about your own arrowhead making painting skills. Look at this thing. <laughs> 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 no, no, but I, I just mean, I don't know. If you guys ever, like, looked at an arrow and then were just disappointed by the... The lack of an arrowhead on it, <laughs> you know, it's just like a little practice arrow. It's just like, yeah, I mean, that's not like the arrowheads that you go to the archery, you know... Uh, center and shoot with oh no this 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 it's, is the kind of arrowhead that you get medieval with medieval well terry terry said love your tattoos thanks uh mm-hmm. and then ron said i just wanted to tell you my daughter is loving the charms and charm bracelet uh it was a birthday present so we sing happy birthday to her every month when the ch- new charm comes in thanks that's awesome oh I how just sweet sent, that's so cool that's very cool i just sent out the latest ones and i think they're kind of cool um, <laughs> That's all. And Barbara Brands joins us and says, uh, "Just a side note. Yesterday on the way to work, I was waiting at the light of Josie and Trinity Mills in Carrollton, and a guy drove by me and smashed my passenger side rear window with a hammer. What? It was stunningly difficult to process. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. Like, like on did per- he r- did he lean out of his car? And why? That's crazy." I don't, that's, well, I'm sorry to hear that. That's yeah, I'm ridiculous. so sorry. That's, that's... got to be alarming. You know, I mean, it's not just, I mean, that's, that's just crazy. Uh, and then Terry said, teaching Jack about archery, be careful. Yeah, really? Oh my goodness. We did try to take Jack to archery lessons. I did. And it was scary. Well. I mean, he was good and everything, but as the parent, 
you're constantly hovering like, oh, don't point it, and ah, you know. So I was like, I've been shot enough. I don't know. I've been shot enough with Nerf darts. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> yeah, he has no, he has no control. Although, although you know, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how everybody feels about guns, and um, um, you know, that's that that could be a sore spot for different for for people and stuff, but. One one of the things though I thought with Jack because you know he lives in in the South and there's lots of you know I and mean, there's guns everywhere but I mean you know there's hunting and stuff and and I thought well at the very least like he's gonna well, we don't have guns in our house but um, I mean I don't you know uh, who would give me a gun and so, <laughs> <laughs> so I mean it's not really it's not that big a deal and you're not into guns so um, so any kind of guns I had when I was growing up my dad has you know like a shotgun and stuff like birds and whatnot I don't know but anyway um but I thought it'd be good though for Jack to know gun gun safety because um, he's going to be around guns most likely. You know, at some point, you know you, you know you're you're around here and and, and it, some of his friends is their parents may hunt or different things. So I want him to really know it. Plus, you know, like target shooting and stuff. You know, it's it's a you know it can be a fun sport and all that. You know, it's like you know it's a it's always a fun thing when the Olympics comes on and they're. They're like doing their thing. They're running and they're shooting. And they're running and they're shooting. And they're like, oh my gosh, these guys are nuts. Well, the archery Olympics is yeah, yeah. Cool the archery is really cool. So all this kind of shooting stuff is you know it's interesting. Um, but my my dad was uh, you know he was a sergeant in the army and um, in in Vietnam. And my have an uncle who was a marine and, and they both you know you know got like sharpshooters this or that. So I thought, what better people to teach <laughs> Jack gun, gun safety? So he went out to my uncle's place and with my dad and. They um, um, showed him how to like fire fire different guns and different things. He really liked it, but um, I forgot where I was going with this. I don't know, but let me say okay. really fast. I, I had a point. Um, I, was, I had a point, guys. I swear. <laughs> you always have a point. Well, sure. I know, I know, but geez. well, Kylie says, "Hey guys, I'm celebrating my birthday with you all tonight. So happy birthday, Kylie!" Well, happy awesome. birthday! Oh my goodness! Well, and cheers to you, girl. <coughs> Excuse me. And Terry says, "Man, that Einstein painting is awesome." Oh, oh, thank you, Terry. Thanks. And Barbara said, yes, he was driving and had the hammer in his left hand. I think maybe he had some smashing to do. I keep wondering if I was the only one. That's, wow. Yeah. That's, I would um, that's so crazy. wonder that, too, because that's just, I mean, why? I just don't, I don't understand why people are crazy. Yeah. People are just... crazy. But I don't know. You know what? You even noticed this. It seemed like lately, and this is not, you know, to compare with that because that's scary and problematic. But when we've been driving lately, it, it seems like people have been acting a little nuts. I, it Almost as if, like, they're just now getting back on the road and they have forgotten how to drive over the last 18 <laughs> months. So, or we were driving home from one night from the festival and somebody was crossing a very busy, like, six-lane road and like frogger style was like in between each lane and wearing completely gray dark clothes and i was i almost hit them i was like i could, could not see them at all so i'm like why why not go you know yeah. 40 feet to the end and cross at the light but whatever what's up yeah whatever Den dennis joins us and says uh what's up y'all miss you need to get together and party soon yes well dennis yes, man we it's good to hear from you i i was telling sam the other day because um she being a good friend and family member <laughs> actually came out to the festival where yeah. you being a bad friend and family member <laughs> did not take that. He was probably <laughs> at flying to uh, the, what is it? He was probably at um, that beer place getting his plate. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, flying well, um, saucer, that's it. No, it would be good to see. You know, um, um, I was telling Sam, you know, whenever we open the gallery <laughs> slash art bar and all that, that um, – a way to lure you and Andy over to see you guys would be like if we had really nice special like beers that you couldn't get anywhere else, you know, and then suddenly you guys would would have to have to gravitate towards there. And That's then, right. You know, we'd see you guys. <laughs> well, Kylie says thank you. Love the painting. And um, also, uh, Terry says if you ever need any help with the gun safety, let me know. Would love to help teach him about proper gun safety and have a wide variety of firearms, and would love to share the knowledge. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Terry. Man, I'll tell you, I t I'll tell you the guy that um, we should all get together and hang out with, which would be a blast if we could all do it. Is is Joe? You know, Uncle Joe, because he has the land and he has a <coughs> bunch of different things. You know, being the ex-marine, um, 
he's collected some stuff in his years. Nothing too crazy. I mean, it's not like, you know, you go over there and it's like, jigga, 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 or anything like that. But, but you know, it probably would be fun. So it's not like he's going to roll up in a tank or anything. See that? The- <laughs> Loading. <laughs> you never know. He has that big, uh, what is that big thing called? The, the, that Jack drives around and. It's oh, the, oh, oh, the Gator? Yes. Yeah, it's like a diesel-powered um, four, like, four by four thing. Yeah, it's like an it's like a massive-looking golf cart, but huge and crazy. Yeah, him, him and my dad have worked on that thing so so many times. Well, and they, they're they crazy. I remember being in the back of that thing, and Joe, I think, I'm pretty sure it was Joe driving, and he was crazy, and he, he was trying to go up over hills. He was taking it off-roading, and there was at one point we were at like a – pretty good you know 60 degree angle <laughs> and i was like uh, i'm out because <laughs> we're about to roll <laughs> i'm out <clears throat> yeah I was like, well, it's got a good roll bar though on it <laughs> not when you're on the very back i mean like there's no you're, you're it's like well regardless so dennis said what and then um terry says uh you bet joe's great uncle uh and then kylie asked how did the festival go any sales oh yeah yeah we um you know um we, we definitely didn't didn't lose money on the festival and you know we, we made money and um, so I mean it was successful in that in that like we're like we're not gonna retire or anything soon from it but it was just because there wasn't crowds but honestly whenever we signed up to do that and we we thought oh let's give it a try this this is the first time that we did anything in the public really since COVID started so we weren't even rating it by money or whatever because like we didn't know if we would make money on it or not but we just thought it'd be a really nice, positive sort of thing, you know, if we went out and, and did that and just to see what things are like and to be around people and to see what the arts and stuff were like, you know, right now and how other artists were doing, you know, it was just a nice way to touch base. And it was at Ar- Ar- Arlington, which is only like a 40, 45 minute drive for us. So it's not like we had to put, get a hotel or anything like that. So, so it wasn't, you know, you know, it wasn't it was, too much. Yeah, it wasn't too much for us to be there. And, it was a and, good opportunity to air out our gear that had been yeah, in the yeah. truck. Yeah, <laughs> it was weird that it, like like walls and eighteen the, months and the and different um, painting, hanging some different things and all this sort of stuff and selling like <clears> and all that hasn't been out in eighteen months and it's like gosh, this is weird. But and and our truck has like a leak in the top of the box part, so it was good to air it out yeah yeah apparently kind of luckily yeah. we have it strategically pa- packed so water doesn't get on the things that it can't get on but it's like uh, well, it's y- weird yeah every once in a while you just gotta open the back gate yeah we thought we fixed that it was like it was just like, it's a box truck it has skylights and one of the skylights has a leak but we thought i know I mean, good grief apparently that flex seal spray isn't all it's cracked up to be guess not <laughs> yes hey um well, I, know, I know this is riveting painting watching me put white on more white yeah <laughs> so I mean, you so, can see it, kind of. Can you? Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. I just had to be like, what's John doing? <laughs> this is like, well, is he just wait, waving his... Ron says, um, Ron, I think he's giving an option, a suggestion for a name. Hiding the tell. Hiding the tell. Ooh. Could be interesting. That's nice. Mm. That's interesting. I like that. Ooh. And then Terry said, LOL, yeah, I have a six-wheel gator from my dad. I love driving it around on our community. Oh, man. Man. And then Nancy has joined us and says, hey, hey, Bramblets. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, Jerry, I'm, curious, I'm curious how the weather is over there um, with you, because I, I noticed that it was a lot of snow on Monday, and that has hindered our running. <laughs> I don't yeah. like it. Yeah, and I, I should say, Terry, man, I remember, like, <coughs> Jer- Jerry, 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 oh, my gosh, awesome. So many, you know, so many great times, but I remember when... This is back when I was sighted, so this was a long time ago. But I remember being on, on, on your mom and dad's land, um, and Jerry brought out a ten gauge shotgun um, for me to shoot. <laughs> and, um, oh my goodness! And it was like an old thing. Like you probably shot it, so you probably know. But it put me on my butt. Oh, and you know, you know what? It didn't. But I had it so locked in that it actually pushed me back three or four feet, and it and it, it ran me into I think my dad. And somebody else, I can't remember if it was Don or somebody, but I remember my dad saying like, stop, 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 stop fooling around or something. And I was like, <laughs> like. Did you not expect it to have that kickback? Well, I mean, it was a 10 gauge, so I knew it was going to have a lot, but like we were like on gravel. So it was all firm. And when I shot it, it was just like, I went, <laughs> it just, 
it just shot me back on the go, and I was still in the same position. And um, and I got and Dad got on to me for for fooling around. I was like, no, no. okay, I'm not fooling around. <laughs> <laughs> only weigh like a third of what you weigh. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, well, it was sore. Terry says, so if I remember right, William Tell was the person who shot the air, an arrow through an apple on his son's head. Yeah, the white adds texture. So Ooh. you're on to something over there. Well, I like that. I like that. And then Nancy says, all the snow has melted. Hey. So, typical Colorado. Typical. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Some, typical. Something you're put out by it or something. Well, that's just typical. Well, it's like it'll be it'll be like it'll be snow in the in the morning and then all melted in the. It's like I don't know. Pick 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 a pick a weather. Uh, but then I guess you know Texas is just as bad. Yeah, yeah. It's <clears throat> funny. You know. All right, guys. I'm, I'm gonna have to pick your brain. I apologize, but um. Okay, on this painting. I've gone through so many different versions of the side. It's not even like the main part of the painting. It's the side. Okay. I'm curious what y'all are going to say. But here's Johnny. All right. So I was supposed to be working on a painting of toys. And, um, but. You didn't. <laughs> yeah, but, but I don't know. Yeah, it was like, it was like a weird day. And it was like, hey, man, I. This toy painting, I it, I just want it to be just so right, and and I was having trouble with the composition, you know, because like it's it was just I don't know, I was having a little trouble, and this was something that I was wanting to do because this film scared the crap out of me when I was a kid, and I just thought, oh, um, it'd be it'd be great to do. Now in the movie, he's coming through a door, so but I wanted to go a little bit different, and you can't probably can't tell this on canvas. But this is really, really thick. So okay, I'm gonna put my finger in there. I mean, you you can see um, the thickness. It's it's, okay, it's kind of crazy. It's like it's this thick, like you know, from from the tip of my finger to there. That's that's how thick all this goes in and out, in and out. It's crazy. Um, so it was like really nutty, and I thought, you know, it needs to be a little smoother. So I went through today and I put a bunch. And this is still wet, so I can't paint it right now. It's still it's got to dry. Um, so I'm smoothing it out a little bit, but I'm wondering what colors to put on here because right now it's white. But I don't want to keep it white. I mean, I could make it a dimmer white, or I could do browns. I could give it kind of like a wood grain. I mean, I could do lots of different things. I could make it crazy colors, too. You know, like, I <coughs> underneath this paint, there's like four or five versions of this. And this is sort of like what happened to me in Western Hirajuku, like an old, old painting, where um, if you ever look at that painting, it, ha it has like the kimono that, that they're wearing, but underneath it um, is like, six other kimonos so if you could ever do like a layered x-ray you would see all these different fully painted out kimonos underneath this one um and this is the same thing there's like crazy techno color backgrounds there's just gray there's black there's white there's brown and purple and red there it's, it's different it's very very different well i think and i was telling john mm -hmm. this i think it would be cool if it was like a dingy brown almost like an old well i mean kind of like an old wall or yeah, no. something like that. Not stark white, because it in. Well, yeah, yeah. It's pretty white right here. Yeah, I just want, I wanted to put the white, cause I wanted to have it light, cause I had it really dark, and it was all like brown, and it was really variegated, and like had a, an intense texture, that almost made it look like dreadlocks. So instead of it being him come through a door, it was like it was like yeah, these brown dreads, you know, and it was like you know, you know, welcome to Jamaica sort of thing, <laughs> but in a scary kind of way. I don't know. Like, a scary kind of yeah, way. Yeah, it was like. It's like if they had if they had hired Jack Nicholson to do those ads way back when, we're like, come to Jamaica where it's warm and they're like, whoa, no one would have gone. <laughs> well, Terry said, uh, speaking of the you guys shooting guns when you were younger, he said that's my dad loves to show off his gun knowledge. I remember the first time I shot it, bruised my shoulder. Dad thought it was hilarious. <laughs> and uh, Fred said Nevada too about the weather being all kinds of crazy. Mm. And um, and then Terry said, uh, The Shining, loved that movie. Uh, and then Nancy said, uh, read the book, John, because it's a ton scarier. Yeah, yeah, the book is different. Book? Yeah, yeah, Coop. Kubrick being a kook and being him, I mean, he's a great filmmaker. So, like, he took it as a way, as a starting point, and then he changed the movie to be the way that he wanted to do it, the way that he, I guess he thought the story would be better in the film, but... Um, yeah, but it's different. Yeah, so that's you know, that's that's a really good point, and um, and it's interesting, you know that. Yeah, and um, 
So if you guys are looking for a good read, but have only seen the movie. Read so what, what what do you think makes it scarier? Or if or Nancy, I'm curious if you're, you know. Well, I'm cuz I mean, I liked the movie. It was really scary, mm-hmm. but I did think the movie was a, l- a little s- slow in its building of scary. Maybe I'm just Well, no, no, no. You're not wrong. I mean, that's <laughs> Kubrick didn't mind taking time. I mean, look at Space Odyssey. You know, I mean, good grief. I can't even. I, can't, oh, I love that movie. I, can't do that I love, movie, I love, love everybody smoking in space. You know, <laughs> and the little the trip up, and they're in a. Dun, I can't. Dun, it, oh, I, I do. I really like that movie. I've seen it so many times, <laughs> but it's not something that I just. Yeah, it's not. It's not something I watch every day or anything. It's not my favorite movie, but it's you know, and Clockwork Orange. I mean, all of it has like you know moments where it's. Well, Terry says, leave it raised up, makes it really look like he is coming through the door. Um, and then Kylie says, you don't want to make it so dark that it takes away from his hair. So that's, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. So I wonder what colors, guys. Like, light br- I mean, light browns could really work. I don't want it to look like hair again or anything because I, I just got that feeling. And then whenever I would tell people, like, I brought this to the to the, to the Vandergriff Art Show in, in People saw it, they were like, oh my gosh, I like that painting. And they were, he was like, in person, it's so textural and stuff. It's just, it kind of grabs you a little bit. I mean, it sounds, sounds like I got a big ego. I'm like, oh, the painting's all that. But no, but I mean, just because the texture is kind of cool. You know, you want to touch it. And But whenever if I've mentioned that it looked like dreadlocks, people go, oh yeah. Because you, know, you can't get that thought out. So I don't want to go back to that. Could be purples, like, See, like deep purples and reds. I mean, I would Ooh, go. red rum, red rum. I, I, will, I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I'm coming to you guys. Ooh, greens I mean, and reds, maybe. Vermilion? I don't know. I mean, no. I, I'm so stuck on it needing to be like a dingy, yellowy brown. Yeah, but his face has so much yellow in it. I don't know. Gosh, yes, this is... Oh, it, okay, Nancy says, ah, the, the Scatman uh, Crothers? Oh, yeah, yeah. Was different. The maze was terrifying, and Nicholson's character was terrifying. Yeah. So, interesting. Yeah, yeah, Scatman Crothers. Oh, and Fred said dark reds with the brown. Okay. Dark you gotta, reds, you gotta, you gotta yeah. You gotta vote for red. I like I like the red, too, because if you make it like a dark, bloody red, like a... Oh, well, ooh. and he says wood texture. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be nice, too. I'm really liking that, Yeah. Because that just makes it seem more sinister. Because, you know, because in the movie, um, there was, he was just coming through a hotel door. So it's, you know, like a bathroom door. So it's all white, normal. Which is really creepy because, you know, but, um, yeah, but in the painting, though, you can go for emotion. and I think we can just all agree. This is probably the most important decision we'll ever make. <laughs> so just as long as we can agree on that. <laughs> That's the fun thing about art, though, is that you can try different things. Like, I've tried so many on this. This is just a painting I'm doing. It's not a commission or anything. It's just, you know, it's for, you know, it's for playing around and trying things out. And Well, yeah, Nancy says wood texture. Kylie says, there you go. I like that. And then Fred says, yeah, red um, is, like, mm. dangerous. Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah. Do it. There we go. Know. Okay. I mean, you okay. can always paint over it. You have, like, five times. Okay, okay. So. I, like, I, like, I like what y'all got. And also it being flatter because it was, like, crazy pitted. And so, like, I mean, just crazy. Like, it was really thick coming out and all that. So I flattened some of it, which is nice because then some areas are deeper. I think that would work really well with the the, the red. And all. Yeah, it would look really creepy. Hmm. Okay. Well, thank you, guys. I appreciate that. You guys are awesome. Well, um, so it being May the 4th, I have some Star Wars trivia. Do you really? Yes. Are you gonna Are you gonna put the? I mean, I have like some factoids. I shouldn't say trivia. It's not like I'm gonna ask you guys questions. Oh, sorry. I'm my camera guy, yeah. Get an up close look at my head. But I'll be surprised if you know any of these facts. Really? Okay, <laughs> that's a bold statement. I think you underestimate and underestimate my nerdiness, darling. I might, because I know that you spend a whole lot of time reading uh, Wikipedia. Well. I mean, like a whole. I don't like to brag, but <laughs> <laughs> I am pretty cool. <laughs> Ron, uh, Ron said about the the last painting. Ron said, "I like the white. The door was white. Um, the contrast is great. Good versus evil, etc." Ooh. And then Fred says, "It will be awesome no matter what you do." Oh, Fred. So nice. Thank you. So nice. Well, I'm gonna put more white, and I'm gonna be working on this on that commercial tomorrow, so I can't. I'm limited to how much I can really do because I want to be able to paint on the commercial. <laughs> And do do things, so they'll be in here filming early, and um, so I can't do too much on that. So, um, but anyway, 
Well, let me give you some factoids real fast. Are you ready? Well, I, I am so ready. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is going to be cool. Um, did you know that the word Ewok was never spoken in the original trilogy? I did. <laughs> it's going to be like this the whole time, isn't it? Hold it. Are these going to be questions or is it just stuff that I can say, yeah, I knew that? <laughs> It's just me telling you facts. Oh, I did, I did, I did know that. The the the, the name came later. Oh really? Yeah, because I think I think I think it, I think it came because of the toys or something. They had like, well, we got to call these things something. Huh? I want to say. No, that makes sense. Okay, did you know Bubba Fett's face is actually visible in the original movies? No. Mhm. 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 Uh, you may think you've never seen Boba Fett's face in the original trilogy, but the actor who played Fett, Jeremy Bullock, uh, did stand in for an Imperial officer at the last minute. Oh. So he's not... Oh, oh so he wasn't, like, being Boba Fett. It's right. Just, it's okay. just an actor, so... Well... There you go. Bam. Uh, one you, one me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have to say... I, I'm going I'm to have to call shenanigans on that one, because he wasn't playing Boba Fett. Hey, man. That's, that's a, just that's, the actor. That's I mean, he could have been factoid. playing, you know, he could have been playing Char Shirley Temple. You know, it could have well, been anything. Well, if he was playing he Shirley Temple, you would notice, and then you would have known that fact. Well, no, no, no. I mean, I mean, you know, he wasn't playing Boba Fett, though. He was just, <clears throat> he was just there. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's get that I'm to I'm taking you. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did you know the um, saying, I have a bad feeling about this, became a running gag for the franchise? Oh, yeah. Really? It's in every film. <sighs> And they have to put it in every film now because it's such a, a thing. Really? Uh huh. That, Can you uh, name where it's said in every film? <laughs> um, <laughs> Come on, nerd. <laughs> oh, yeah, me think. Um, Luke Skywalker said it. Well, let's see. Han Solo said it. Whatever. Um, yeah. Well, maybe, but I don't think anybody wants to hear this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but when it, when it, but when they they were making the ones like Solo and all that. They, um, there was one of the things they tried to ask the, the filmmakers to do was to, to incorporate that hmm. into it. Interesting. Well, <clears throat> did you oh. know? Oh, oh, like the, the, the robot, I think in, um, oh gosh, I can't remember the name, but you know the, um, oh, I can't think of what it's called. C-3PO? No, 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 like in the newer ones, like the, it wasn't Solo, but it was the one, it was like um, a Star Wars story, it was, um. Oh, Rogue One. Rogue, Rogue One. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think, I think they had the the robot in that. Say. Hmm. Okay. All yeah, right. Well, did thing. you know? In Sync nearly had a cameo in Attack of the Clones. <laughs> I mean, I, I know did not you're, know that, but holy moly! <clears throat> no, you're a big In Sync fan, but. <laughs> I love me boy bands. <laughs> oh, I love me boy bands. <laughs> 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 Don't you go this in my boy pants. <laughs> Oh my gosh! No, I, I I I don't I don't know in sync very well, but that's funny. <laughs> so what so what happened that made that not happen? So um they okay the boy band in sync they made a cameo in Attack of the Clones at the request of George Lucas's daughter. Oh. Um, but they were that's edited sweet. they were edited out in the final cut. That's even sweeter. That's even better. <laughs> <laughs> but that's sweet though that um. Oh, that's that's, uh, that's sweet though that we're gonna be like, you know. I mean, you know, if you're a billionaire, your kids probably already have everything. <laughs> what in the world can you get them? Really, just get them for the birthday party. Why does it have to be in the movie for you know everybody else to see? There you go. Nobody needs that. Nobody. Nobody. <clears throat> um, can you name anybody that was in in sync? Justin Timberlake. Was he? I mean, that's the, yeah. That's oh. the re it's yeah. No, I, I'll say this. I'm not, I, I don't I don't really know boy bands very much and um and no, you know, I'm not throwing shade to anybody that likes them. I mean, you know, you know what you like is, you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, I do like just Justin Tim Timberlake. Like I like some of his stuff and and, and I I don't know, but I mostly know him from SNL and stuff like his skits. Guy, he just seems like Oh, I like Ju I like Justin's music. Like I like yeah. I, I, not in sync. I don't I'm not I was never a boy band like when I was growing up. The big boy band was kids on New Kids on the Block. I mean, yeah. it was a thing, and I did not like it. I could not get with the crowd. I could yeah. not get on the boy band like bandwagon. So, I never I, really liked them. But Justin on his own is really good. Like, yeah, yeah. And you know when he back. when he's singing about bringing sexy back, I feel like <laughs> exactly. he's talking to me. But uh, let me ask you this: is is one is One Direction a boy band? Well. Yeah. I mean, they're yeah. all boys, but do they write their own music, or is it like, 
hey, we're putting a band together. We're going to get a bunch of guys, and then we'll just, you know. Well, well I think so. Or, and or, I, or are they a band that, you know, that was discovered kind of thing? <clears throat> no, I'm on a, I want to say they were all put together by, like, a manager of sorts, I think. But, I know, but you know, they follow the same sort of, you know, track record where I want to say Harry Styles is the main guy out of that, and he's gone solo. So it's oh, yeah. like. They all, it all, they all end the same. Is that where Harry Styles came from? I think so, yeah. Because I, I see him popping up on social media a lot. Yeah, a lot, he's, I think. he's, he's big. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, <coughs> I think, well, and then I listen well, to his stuff and I think, I, I, this isn't my jam. This is not, this is not my jam. Well, let me say, Ron Captain has another name for the painting. Ooh. Do tell. <laughs> I like that. I like, I like the, it. I, You're I, really riffing hard on the William Tell thing. That's I, nice. I, I like the, I like the play on tell. That's nice. Um, oh, and then uh, uh, Nancy says, John, you crack me up. <laughs> and uh, Fred said, better actor than singer, just my opinion about um, Justin. Oh. I mean, you did learn from him, from about him on SNL. I mean, that was your, so I mean, I guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's a good, I mean, he's just, a good actor. Yeah, but, you know, and, and, it, and it seemed like he had a personality, you know, where, like, I don't know, like during Blown, blown Skits <clears> and stuff, he was, he was, I don't know, like. Like his improv and all that was, was cool. Where you know it, it didn't just seem like a mindless drone or something. It was just, I don't know. But you know. And then Fred said, um, "Do any of those bands write their own music?" I don't know. That's a good no. question. <laughs> in fact, it's uh, to me like, uh, and this is probably really naive, but I never realized that those big pop people uh -huh. never wrote their own music yeah. until probably like. I don't know, like t f 10, 15 years ago, and I saw a video where it was like they were doing something about Britney Spears, and and how, and then they they featured the dude that wrote all the songs, uh -huh. like wrote all the songs, and then he wrote like a million other songs for all these pop stars, uh -huh. like Toxic and all the this stuff, and I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> wow, <laughs> wait a minute, uh, this guy. So whenever you were a little girl and you were listening to. Tiffany and you're thinking, are we, you know, um, what is it? Are Tiffany. We are we alone now? <laughs> I thought that was her song. Yeah, yeah. You know, honestly, I did too. And then I, I and then I heard a, um, the original and I thought, wow, how did they record that from Tiffany so much <laughs> before she was born? <laughs> That's, that really takes talent. <laughs> yep. I know. I was like, I was like. What is that song? About? Are we alone now? How does it go? I think we're alone now. I think we're alone now. I think we're. Alone I love that now. song. That was my jam growing up. That was my jam in this in the episode of Growing Pains where her and and Kirk Cameron start up a little thing. I'm like, I, oh I was, wow! I was, I, I was a, I had it. Well, she, she was on that, huh? That's mildly embarrassing, but I had like a little shrine to Kirk Cameron. He was my my teenage wow. crush or my preteen crush, whatever. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> so, so was that was that when you stopped you stopped not 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 liking her when because she, she kept, because she was try, trying to steal your. No, money? I was excited she was on the show. I mean, I'm <laughs> I'm, re I'm a realist. I wasn't gonna like you know land Kirk Cameron. That's not gonna happen. But so, aren't but you lucky you didn't? I guess I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. I haven't heard from the guy in forever. So I mean, I'm never. I, I don't know Kirk Cameron. You know, yeah, maybe, you guys haven't had tea lately. Maybe yeah, we yeah we, yeah we haven't, we haven't <laughs> had tea and crackers lately, but. But I don't know. It, it, well, Nancy Nancy says, do tell is a good name for the painting. Do tell. I like that. I like that. Um, and Fred said, just pretty faces. At, at, at all the boy, all those bands, yes. I guess so. I mean, that. And then Dennis said, Dennis said that's why metal music is the greatest. <laughs> yeah. I'll go with that. It's a, it's a sad day when you realize <laughs> you're too old to, to start or even be in a boy band. <laughs> I might be too old to manage a boy band. I don't even know. <laughs> you probably are. I mean, hey. <laughs> I mean, you know, I imagine nowadays. I got a birthday coming up. That hurts. <laughs> that hurts. It hurts. That hurts. I mean, now I imagine it's a bunch of twenty-year-olds managing a bunch of like thirteen-year-olds. Yeah. I'm. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Michael <laughs> Duminos has joined us. Says the best songwriter and poet is Jim Morrison of the Doors. Ooh, he was. He was more of a he poet was, than a singer, really, wasn't he? And then Fred said, awesome, and uh, sitcoms used to be so good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they did. What's the best sitcom mm. ever, guys? Like, Okay, I submit for your approval. Um, mm -hmm. 
this probably isn't the best, but I think it's probably for like what it was and all. It was like one of the best. What Three's, Three's com Company with John, John Ritter and the gang, Susan Summers and or Susan Susan Summers. Susan Summers. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that that's your that your. Well, I, I don't think it's the best, but like Cheers. I, oh, Cheers. I love. It. But but they're all like really old. Like like you know Three's Company. That's really old and. I, I remember I remember uh, my family getting really excited about um, TGIF back in the day. Yes, on, that was the thing. I remember that. I remember that. And um, <clears throat> there's so many sh in Urkel. What <laughs> Urkel? Well, Linda Linda's uh, chimed in and said so many great songwriter writers: Harry Chapin and James Ooh. Taylor. Ooh, yes, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Very, very good. Yeah. Um, and Fred said, Rem uh, "Remember Mr. Belvedere." Yes, I do. I do. And then Terry wrote Mork and Bindi, which you used to. You, oh, Nanu, Nanu. We were going through, which Terry would appreciate this. We were going through the shed at the lake, and John, we, we it was a bunch of old stuff of John's when he was a kid, and we found your Mork suspenders. Yeah, I, I bought those. <clears throat> I saved up, and I had to get, like, the only way to get it, I forget what in the heck it was. It wasn't like food stamps, but it was like some kind of stamps that you get. From like some store or something, and it was like you, I don't know, I don't remember what 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 the deal was. Almost like box tops, and you had to collect them, and then yeah, mail them yeah, in. and then I got all those, and then and then I was able to send away for it, and I got my Mork and Mindy support, <laughs> my Mork from Mork suspenders, had like the little, um, you know, the r rainbow, and they had like the little pointy finger, and all, oh, I'm getting paint all over me, um, yeah, that was a good day. <laughs> that was a good day. And of course, of course, I was a teenager, and I was the most, I was at the height of the dorkiness of being a teenager, where my teeth didn't fit my face, and it was like, well, you know, and, I think you need and my to... face didn't fit my head, or my my head was too big for my body, and, and then I had those more from work suspenders just to complete the whole look. Well, um, Fred said, "Ha ha, yes, Mork and Mindy, Young Rob Williams, awesome." Um, Terry said, "LL, keep them. I'm sure they're they are collectible." Uh, and then he said green stamps, and Nancy said uh, shipping and handling stamps. Oh. Which might have been what you were collecting, but did, we kept them, right? I think they're I, in that box. I don't box. know. I don't know. Jack, Jack might have wanted If we, ca them. oh, yeah. So I don't know. But He makes us keep everything. So. But, but Cheers, though, was really good. And the, re the reason I say Cheers, too, is just only because you, you can put it on, or you can, you can listen to it, you just hear that. Do, 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 do. And it just, like, <laughs> your, your blood pressure just lowers. At least mine does. I mean. And, and then they always have like that little joke in the beginning, that little one line, you know, where the someone will come in and they'll, and they'll say something. It's just one little riff, and then it'll say, and then the song will start up, you know. Dude. Oh, by the way, if y'all ever want to hear some crazy lyrics, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> look up the cheer song, the lyrics for it, because they cherry pick <clears throat> the, the most sane <laughs> words in that I mean, song. It's, alar it's a little alarming. Yeah, it's a little crazy. Yeah, it, like, you know, it's like they, they said all the non crazy stuff in the song. And it just starts going off like the I don't know, it's, but like like if your wife has decided to become a man or something, yeah, come it's to the all, bar it's like, or something what? weird. It was just <laughs> it's hilarious. Well, today is the only thing you got. Or something. If your wife becomes a man or something, it's a, she can hurt a lot or something. I don't know. I don't it's pretty. It's pretty funny. I remember. Yeah, it's odd. So they they definitely did some editing, but it's funny. So anyway, if you ever want to laugh. Uh. Um, you you and your brother Andy were a big fan of, of Mash, weren't you? No, Andy was. I don't. Andy. I never liked that show. Oh. I mean, I oh yeah, it was too much green for you. Yeah, I, right. I appreciate the show. <laughs> I recognize that it is a huge fan base and it's a good show, but it, it's too green. I didn't like it. I, I can't. I don't like. It. So um, <clears throat> yeah, and Fred said lots of late nights with Cheers in the background. Oh, Barbara Brand said Seinfeld was my go-to. Oh, my God. Bunker the bunker. And, um, <laughs> oh, Fred says, do you know the title of the MASH theme song? That uh, freaked oh. me out. No, no. Ooh, trivia. I don't know the title. What is of it? The, let us know. I'm curious now. And Terry said, oh, I loved MASH. Yeah, oh, man, I get hmm. it. Like, so many people love that show. And I can, I, if I could get past the monochromaticness of it, I was down, like I appreciated it, but I just, I, it, it never, I, it, it didn't draw me in because of that. Uh, <clears throat> but I, I'd say like clever, like written well. I thought Seinfeld was like super hilarious. Um, you loved you, you loved you some some Danza. 
Who's the boss? Well, that's, Who is the boss? Yeah. <laughs> Who indeed is, is it the Angela? Boss? Is it Tony? <laughs> Who's the boss? <laughs> Oh, um, so Ron uh, said, uh, was replying to Fred's and said suicide or something like that. And then Fred said, suicide is painless. Um, or, yeah, something like that. Wow, that's the name of the song? And uh, sang it in the movie. So, yeah, wow. okay, so uh, everybody tuning in knew what the name of it pretty much was. And, yeah, now, now that I, that rings a bell now. Because my brother used to watch that constantly. He loved that show. And, and I remember hearing that weird that <laughs> song is weird. Mm, that's, that's it's another funny. one of those like cheers. Maybe that was just a thing back then. Like maybe they would hide like weird things. And, I don't know. Maybe, maybe <laughs> so. Oh, I, I remember when I was a kid. I I, I listened to it to a lot of re, re, reruns of shows. But I remember shows like um, Good Good Times mm-hmm. and What's Happening. Hey hey hey! You know, like, yeah, what right. is happening? Yeah. Um, yeah. What is happening? What was happening? (laughs) (laughs) So uh, Brian said, um, yeah, he he knew the name of it too. Suicide is painless. And then Fred said trippy. um, And then Brian said it brings on many changes. um, And then Fred said artists making art back then. Mm. And and Fred said dynamite. 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 Yeah, I remember that. (laughs) Yeah. Um. My, my, we used to watch like, which I guess it doesn't exist. I don't know if it exists anymore because we everybody switched to like streaming services. But we used to watch Nick at Night, and that was like uh, religious. You know, we every single night was, you know, you had their lineup. It was you know Wings or Full House or something. Oh, yeah, Wings. Yeah. You know the shows that had gone into syndication, and then and I mean I remember they did Cheers for a long time, and gosh, you watch that for a good like four hour block. Yeah, I like. Yeah, Cheers, Woody, and all that, man. Hey, what what was it? Oh, The Facts of Life. I remember seeing that, I think, in reruns. And I had a little crush on, on Tootie when I was a little kid. <laughs> she was just so, I don't know, full of energy and happy. And I don't know. I thought, Tootie, Tootie's great. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a little mini shrine to her, like, no, compared no, to my no. Kirk Cameron one? I never had a shrine to any, anybody. I used to have a, a mini shrine to also, this is late, a little later, to Jean Claude Van Damme, ooh, because I thought he was hot. The only, you know, the only poster I had anybody was I think Samantha Fox, but because it, it came in something, yeah, or it was like it was like something that had it, and I thought, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's like more current, isn't she? Well, no. I don't what what was she from? She was like she had like one or two songs I think, but they were like so oh. sexy songs. Oh, 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 oh. And I okay, can't even I think of you. what they were, but I just remember like oh. It was just like her and a shirt or something. Well, Nancy says, got to see the original MASH movie to understand the song from the series. Oh, whoa. Interesting. Dang. Sounds like um, a dark trip, though. Yeah. I don't I'm, I, I'm good. Um, <laughs> Terry says, Spear Chucker Jones. I don't know. Is that a, is that a show? I don't, I don't know. I Let us know. I'm curious. Yeah, and then, um, oh, and he says, I think. And, oh, love the football game they were playing. Huh. Huh. Crap, okay. Huh. Uh, Fred says it's funny how many people on those shows became big movie stars. And then Barbara Brand said, when I was pregnant with uh, my first daughter, uh, we were such hardcore fans of the original TV version of Batman that we missed two childbirth classes because of it. Priorities. Oh. <laughs> well, oh, and Terry says nope and mash and mash. Okay, okay, I gotcha. Well, uh, I'll tell you, Jack, Jack he's 13, um, but he has some pretty eclectic tastes and things like I remember when he was a little kid. He still like he loves the old the old bat Batman. That's like one of his favorite. He just thinks it's awesome and funny and good and I don't know. It's I was reading about Cesar Romero. You know he played um, the, the Joker. But I was reading about him the other day because I was reading about these old mo- mo- movie stars um, like Joan Joan Crawford, Betty Davis, um, di- different stars that were just incredible and amazing, and um, and Cesar Romero. I don't know, like he dated all these people, all these ladies, and it was he never got married. It was just interesting. He played the Joker, and he wouldn't shave his mustache because he was just too suave. You know, he could, wouldn't do that. So, <laughs> you know, they put the paint over it. And, and I thought, what an interesting guy. And he lived, like, on and off with his family his whole life. But, I mean, it wasn't like, wasn't like he was de- he was destitute or anything. Like, he was, he was always, he was just, 
He just loved his family. It's like he moved his family to California, I think, and then you know, it was just I don't know. It's interesting, interesting lives. Like some of the lives of of, of the of the, of the older Hollywood and stuff is just fascinating to me. I don't know. The whole thing between Betty Davis and Joan, Joan, Joan Crawford and hating each other. and You know, it's just, I don't know, it's interesting. Well, Fred says, Batman is cool. Bam, pow. Yeah, man. <laughs> the original Batman. So. Holy cow, Batman. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I grew, I, my show growing up when was Punky Brewster. That was my. Uh, I never saw that. Like, I, you know, it was huge, but. I, I, I missed her. it. It was not my demographic, I guess. <laughs> I was too old, or I don't know. Off, off, running around the house with a cape, with a with a, with a cape that, was, that had a clothespin around it, <laughs> pretend like I was Batman or Robin while my cousin was the other. Well, I mean, it definitely was geared a little bit towards. I mean, come jungle, you know. fight crime. <laughs> <laughs> Punky Bruce, yeah, she she was cool though. She had those socks. <laughs> um, well, Fred said Burgess Meredith was the Penguin and then was Rocky's trainer in the Rocky movies. That's yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> Crazy. That's really good. Yeah, yeah, he played a great Penguin. And I thought I thought I thought Danny DeVito did a good a good Penguin too. Uh, oh movie, yeah, he was. He was creepy. But what he about was basically like in, just doing Burgess's <clears throat> role, in a way. What about in Gotham? Who played, was, was the Penguin in that show? Yeah, yeah, that was, um, 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 Cobblepot. Who, who, I, I don't, I don't know the actor's name, though, that, that plays him, but he does such a great, he's like one of the main people in the entire show, the entire time. But he plays a really interesting char- character. Huh. Maybe, maybe Nancy knows. Oh, yes. But Nancy I, would I, know. But I can't but, think of the, the actor's name. Huh. But they were all young, right? That was like before they became super crazy. Yeah, yeah. It was like pre, it was like their backstories in a way, but it was all really cool and um, really interesting. <clears throat> it was like when Bruce Wayne was young. Oh, and Terry um, said, don't forget about Alf. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Alf was a good one. Watched a lot of that show. Man, Alf. See, they don't, they don't, you know, sitcoms just don't seem as funny anymore. I don't know. And that, the other thing that bothers me about TV shows, this is my little mini soapbox, is that they're now like serial shows. They're like, you have to watch an entire season to be really into the story, mm-hmm. as opposed to being episodic, where it's just an adventure on that one, you know, one, they're dealing with one plot line that episode, and then... I mean, I I guess my big beef is because all the sci-fi shows are going that direction. It's like it makes it really hard when you want to watch them like now. Yeah. You know, you you're not gonna jump in or just pick a random episode like you used to be able to, and you're on an adventure. Now you're like in the middle of a storyline, and that's weird. Hey, what's that show though that um you really like? It's um up up Shit's Creek. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's that's. It's just it's just Shit's Creek. It's oh, not Shit's Creek. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I got it close. <laughs> oh, Nan- Nancy asked John, "What am I supposed to know?" We we were talking about um, Gotham because I know you were a big fan of that, and he started he watched all of that show. Yeah. But, but I was wondering if the Penguin on that show was portrayed well. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, it was, but 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 the actor's name I don't I don't know the actor's name of the Penguin, but I I thought he was really good. And he was like best friends with the Riddler in that show, Ooh. and that was kind of fun. That was neat because they were contentious best friends, but also like more like they might kill each other at any time, but also best friends. So I don't know, it was fun. I might was have good. to give that show another try. You you know you, it's one of those. It's almost like watching like any like an English show in a way where you want to get in a little bit, and then once you do, that it's well worth it. But, yeah, you know, you're um, sucked into it. Yeah, well, so. I'm going to stop painting on this a little bit because I, I, I need to, well, it's all, it's time to go really, but, um, but I need to keep, keep it for the commercial tomorrow to keep, have stuff to do. But. Well, let me say really fast. Fred says quantum leap was an adventure every show, but it kind of, uh, had a story too. Yeah. Quantum Le- yeah. leap was awesome. I loved that show. Um, and that's a great example of an episodic adventure show. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like it would, it would build, but it, but, it, but you could have, you, you didn't have to watch last week's to understand what was going on. Which is yeah, nice. they can they can the, do anything. Yeah, and Linda said uh, Schitt's Creek was great, which I concur. It is 
hilarious, hilarious. We went to a trivia night and and tried to answer questions about it, and yeah. we, I, we didn't know any of them. I just I like the show, yeah. but I don't know any of the weird trivia. So yeah, we've and stuck I stuck to that. I've only seen a few outside with you, and and um, you know, like um, the other ones that are kind of newer, is like, but like they're British, so it's like I, I, IT Crowd. I think is oh hilarious. yeah, those are good. Dun, 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 dun. And Ron said, "Not super old, but but uh, my name is Earl. I remember mm. that show was really good. Yeah, yeah, that show was great. So yeah, Jace, Jason, Jason, Jason Lee. Yeah, he did so good. That was my favorite thing I think that he was in. Yeah. Well, so um, cool guys. Thanks for tuning in. And um, gosh, we'll be back next Tuesday having a whole other adventure festival under our belt. We'll yeah. Talk about that." And Jason Lee was a nice guy. He wouldn't fill oh, space. yeah, you met him. That's right. Felt his space at the bar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pre-COVID. Yep. Pre-COVID. Yeah, he lived, he, he, he lived here for a while. He moved to get away from the rat race of L.A. Yeah. Moved to little old Denton. Yeah, Fred said um, Jason Lee used to be a pro skateboarder. He Yeah, and he yeah. opened up a skateboard shop, shop here in Denton where we live. Yeah, he yeah. He lived here a while. So he has a few. Bought an old truck and wore funny hats. <laughs> Did. Which I, I did a painting of him in one of his funny hats. <laughs> uh, but well, and Fred's uh, Terry says, um, "Have a great night. Catch you later." Fred said, "That's good. This was fun. Thanks again, everybody. Tune in next Tuesday. Um, <laughs> we'll uh, be doing it all over again with more sticky paint." And uh, we'll have some stories of festival life stories. to tell you. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye.